Is Breon going to stay in classic now that he got so seven pounds or seven pounds nowhere near what he would have? What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Starting today's video with an end hour confirmation by Brian Asley while talking to Ron Harris from Muscular Development. Regarding his future, whether he's gonna go back to classic physique or whether he's gonna move up to 212. And all this discussion began after that big announcement was made that classic guys will be allowed to weigh more starting from this year. Consequently, Brian Asley was given another seven pounds compared to what he was weighing for the last seven years. Right, seven pounds is good, but it's not great for me. Um, and we're still we're still contemplating, Ron. We're still contemplating. Brion's weight cutoff in classic was 180 pounds before. So he weighed 225 pounds at the heaviest point during this offseason, which was 15 pounds heavier than what he usually weighed when he was in classic. So even with the increased weight limit, it will be extremely difficult to come down to 187 pounds, which will be his new weight cap. Of course, he will be able to make the weight cut off, but that certainly won't be his absolute best. Is seven pounds enough for me to where I don't have to, st to where I can come down to it and I don't have to lose muscle? And I think the answer to that is still no. Now, another question is this. Will they give Brian Asley a special invite to compete in the 212 division or will he have to qualify for the Olympia and earn his spot? I believe as a two times classic physique champion, they can certainly consider the special invite. I mean, they have already set the precedent with Derek Lansford last year. So what do you guys think? Will they give him a special invite or not? And what do you guys think about his decision? Is it a good one or a bad one? I still would have to lose muscle coming down to 187 pounds. Yeah. So the fans are already so hyped up to see the battle of men's open bodybuilding at Texas Pro with Hunter Labrada, Carlos, and Andrew Jack. But there is a twist in classic physique lineup as well. We all know Logan Franklin is competing here. He's making his big comeback after one and a half years. So there has been a lot of anticipation on how he will show up. That too while he is self-coaching. And that is a big question mark, especially after what we saw with Blessing and how that experiment did not work. So he is a great bodybuilder, no doubt. He is one of the best posers in classic physique division or in the bodybuilding for that matter. And majority of the people had him winning Texas Pro this year. But here is the twist. The name of Robert Thames in that official competitors list for Texas Pro. And I am kind of surprised to see Robert's name in there. Because if we check his Instagram, the last post he made was back in April. And even though I knew Robert Timms was in prep, but I wasn't sure what show he's planning to do. So Robert is a tall guy. He is over six feet. And it is really undeniable fact that he probably has one of the best upper body in classic physique division right now. And I have said this so many times before. If his legs were just as good as his upper half, boy, he could have been something else. He probably would have been fighting for Mr. Olympia title. And that is why him and his coach, AJ, their game plan was to come in a little downsized in the upper body to create more of a balance. Now, if you guys remember, we've witnessed a great battle between Logan Franklin and Robert Thames at Texas Pro back in 2021. Even before that show, a lot of the people had Logan Franklin winning. But Robert Thames just came out of nowhere and he presented one of his best looks ever. So the rematch between these guys is going to be an epic one. And I believe this is one of the best classic physique battle of this season so far. After the Arnold Classic 2023. Samson Dauda makes the biggest improvements from show to show and we are seeing this trend for almost two years now. From Prog Pro 2021 till the Arnold Classic this year. The amount of improvements that he has been able to make is just unreal. Especially his transformation from the Olympia last year to the Arnold Classic this year. That is such a great example. So looking at his recent update, 
I think Samson took those comments of having a flat back very personal. He's improving at such a fast pace, even in the area that was one of his biggest weaknesses. He is looking so complete top to bottom, and he is so beautifully put together. I know Andrew Jagd is one of the most astoundingly pleasing guy on the Olympia stage. But unlike Andrew Jagd who lacks the thickness from the side, Samson doesn't have that weakness. So it is gonna be a great Mr. Olympia this year. And Samson for sure will be in the max for the Olympia title this year. Do let me know what you guys think. And also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.